In the name of Allah, the Rahman and the Rahim, dear students and viewers, welcome you all in today's lecture. Topic for today's lecture discussion is ethnography of speaking. Firstly, we will understand that what's meant by ethnography. Ethnography means the scientific uh, description or study of different races and cultures. When we are studying different cultures, or the history of different cultures, or the history of human beings, or the history of people, so that is called ethnography. And there is another concept, uh, ethnolinguistics. Ethnolinguistics is from ethnography, okay? Or ethnography of language, we can say. So uh, ethnolinguistics is the branch of linguistics which deals with the study of the relationship between language, linguistic and cultural behaviors. Or uh, the, it deals with the linguistic resources available to speakers, available to uh, linguists or people who are speaking language and cultural behaviors. It means that how uh, different people behave differently in different cultures. So when we are studying uh, cultures or cultural behaviors or cultural norms with reference to language are the combination of both that how they are going together. Uh, so language, culture or linguistic or cultural behaviors when we are studying that is called uh, ethnolinguistics. So students, ethnography of speaking and linguistics uh, are especially in discourse analysis or in pragmatics, ethnography of speaking refers to the evaluation of speaking or to the evaluations or assessment of the ways of speaking. Like for example, how uh, like variations occur uh, with the variation of cultures in speaking. How different people, they speak differently uh, with the help of cultures or with reference to different cultures. So students, ethnography of speaking is sometimes also called uh, ethnography of communication, that how we are communicating, how we are having communication across cultures or uh, in intercultural communication or cross-culture communication. So students, ethnography of speaking uh, means that how we are speaking uh, with, uh, uh, with the help of culture or with the knowledge of culture. Basically, this approach was developed based uh, on Chomsky linguistic competence. There was the concept of linguistic competence and linguistic performance proposed by Noam Chomsky. But according to Dilheims, there are some deficiencies in the concept of Chomsky. So the, the concept of Chomsky, linguistic competence and linguistic performance, is based on grammaticality or grammatical accuracy. But the focus of the ethnography of speaking or ethnography of communication is on the appropriacy of language, not just on the structure of language, on the accuracy of language, but the appropriacy of language is important. So the focus of this approach is on communicative competence rather than linguistic competence. Or we can say that uh, it deals with the speaker's ability to produce appropriate utterances, not grammatical sentences. Appropriate utterances are important rather than grammatical sentences. Uh, yes, so the focus of this point, of this concept, of this idea of Dilheims is on the appropriacy of language or the appropriacy of uh, utterances in appropriate context. So it deals with the linguistic resources available to a speaker. For example, how many different styles are there uh, on his or her disposal? Another super, supra sentential structuring, like for example, how many different structures are available for a different linguistic events? For example, rel religious ceremonies, uh, debates, songs, etc. So half, like uh, how many resources how many uh, structures are there 
for these different linguistic events. And then the social norms which govern different types of interactions. So we are studying these four elements that is like uh, uh, the concern of the ethnography of speaking is not just with the language structure, but with the language use, with the speaking rules. So ethnography of speaking uh, studies the ways in which the speakers associate particular modes of speaking that have different speakers. They speak differently in different contexts with reference to different cultures. The origin of this uh, approach is that Dilheims proposed this approach, uh, this research method, qualitative method of research, ethnography of communication or ethnography of speaking. Basically, students, this approach is going against the approach of uh, are the idea of Noam Chomsky, which is linguistic competence and linguistic performance. So it was a reaction to Noam Chomsky distinction between linguistic competence and linguistic performance. Originally, this term was coined, ethnography of speaking, this phrase was coined in Dilheim's work, 1962 paper, and then it was redefined in 1964 to accommodate uh, for the non-vocal and non-verbal characteristics of communication, that how variations occur in communication uh, with the variation of cultures. So the term, uh, students, this is uh, from Google account, OK? Just you can Google it, and you will be having all these in, uh, instructions and informations. The term ethnography of communication or ethnography of speaking is meant to be descriptive of the characteristic that an approach towards language from in, like when we are studying uh, ethnography or communication with reference to different cultures. So according to Dilheims, the first point is that this approach will investigate directly the use of language in contexts of situations so as to uh, uh, investigate uh, patterns proper to speech community. The second point is take as context a community investigating its communicative habits as a whole. So firstly, it will directly investigate, like language will be investigated in contexts of situation, that uh, patterns proper to speech activity, then uh, context is considered just like a community, investigating its communicative habits, the, the communicative habits of community. In other words, we can say that the function of this approach is the analysis of cultures or communities' communication, linguistic and otherwise must occur with respect to the socio-cultural context if it use and the functions of the meanings conveyed. Like how communications occur in uh, different communities, in different cultures. For example, who the speakers are, where they are, what beliefs and customs are important in their lives. So when we are studying all these things uh, with reference to cultures, with reference to communication that is called ethnography of speaking or ethnography of communication. The ethnography of speaking is concerned with the describing ways of speaking as they, they construct and reflect social life within particular speech communities. It is concerned further with developing cross-culturally valid concepts and theories for interpreting and explaining the interaction of language in social life. Like when we are studying the interaction, the combination of language and social life. So students, uh, ethnography of speaking or communication is also called situated discourse. That is how speaking is organized and conceptualized within a given community. That have conceptualization uh, and also organization of speaking. 
are taking place in a given community or within the community. Ethnography refers to field work. Yes, ethnography refers to field work by techniques developed in other areas of study. For example, conversation analysis, history, and pragmatics, which produces a written description of the way of life of group of people. So it focuses on the observed pattern of speaking, that the patterns of speaking are important, the ways of the speaking are important, OK? The evaluation of the ways of the speaking is the main concern of ethnography of speaking approach or ethnography of speaking approach or uh, the qualitative uh, field of research or type of research. The ethnography of speaking or ethnography of communication, originally called the ethnography of speaking, yes, is the analysis of communication within wider context of social and cultural practices and beliefs of the members of a particular culture or speech community. Yes, so ethnography of speaking refers to the analysis of communication with reference to social and cultural practices and beliefs uh, within the wider context of communication. So now the function of this approach. This approach is used to enhance communication with group members, make sense of group members' uh, decisions, and distinguish groups from one another, among other things. So students, ethnography of communication or speaking conceptualizes communication as a continuous flow of information. That communication is continuous flow of communication rather than as a segmented exchange of messages. It is like we can't study communication in separation, but communication will be studied with reference to cultures, with reference to speech community, with reference to linguistic resources. Dilheim suggests that cultures communicate in different ways, but all forms of communication require a shared code. Communicators who know and use the code, a channel, a setting, a message, form, a topic, and an e event created by transmission of the message. So all these are the elements of communication, like uh, the code, the channel, the setting, the message form, the topic, and the event created by transmission of messages. There is another model of uh, speaking, the model of speaking uh, given by Dilheims. So in this model, uh, 16 elements are there. Like for example, uh, the first one, that is the message form, content, setting, scene, speaker or sender, addresser. These all are the elements of communication. These are the 16 elements. These 16 elements are components are organized into eight division to form uh, an acronym for the speaking uh, model. So the first one, like speaking, is important. Speaking, S means setting. Uh, P means participant. And A, act sequence. K, key. Uh, I, instrumentalities in norms of instruction. We will study all these in separate lecture. Thanks for watching uh, this video, students. So basically, the main crux of the lecture are ethnography of speaking or communication uh, is based on uh, the ways of the speaking, or the evaluation of the speaking, or the patterns of the speakings are important with reference to cultures that how communication is taking place, our uh, speaking is organized and conceptualized within the premises of uh, different cultures.